things are not all perfect out there in the wood and we need to change actually the way we do things. And th this is actually a very important aspect of the network. That's why the network was uh, founded. Part of the ideas we developed within this project were to integrate different fields uh, of research and pull it all together to be able to test different forest management scenarios and come up with different possible scenarios for forest managers to use. I've learned that uh, there are many different views on the same problems and that's probably one of the biggest challenge that we have is that each of us has a different background, different uh, of course upbringing and we see different things in the forest. We need researchers to give us the good information and to improve that information about new projects, new research and that's important. We want to have some idea what the the future impact might be on the forest. And so we want to have tools that would help us look at that. What the modeling does is it allows us to consider things other than, than wood volume and, and roads and take into consideration things like wildlife habitat, um, water quality, soil fertility. These systems that we're modeling or that we're trying to reproduce in a computer are very complex and there's a lot of things about them that we don't understand. But I think as it is, we have enough understanding to get a, an idea of what will happen. We are involved in the many projects that have to deal with forecasting of indicators, defining of long-term indicators, and way to gain a social acceptance of the people, to give them a, a, a much more and a better understanding of the implication of forest activities. Things need to be changed and we are changing them.